Welcome to HP WorkPath video. This video is focused on HP for SharePoint Online. To start the process, tap on the HP for SharePoint Online icon on the screen to proceed. You will then be directed to the End User License Agreement and Privacy Policy page. If you are not signed into the device, you will need to validate each time you use the application. Once you continue, you will be directed to a message indicating that you are leaving the HP controlled environment and engaging with the third party platform. You will then be requested to key in your login credential to log in into your account. Depending on the security setup of each organization, each environment would have its unique steps for logging into the account. Once you are successfully authenticated, you will be directed to your organization's SharePoint page. You are then able to browse or search for the specific site that you would like to access. In this demonstration, we will search for a site called WorkPath SP Demo. You can then access the desired site found in the search results by tapping on the site name. Once you have gained access to your desired SharePoint site, you can browse, access and even create contents in the site. Now, we are going to talk about printing within the HP for SharePoint online app. Tap on your desired file to access the printing options screen. You can adjust your preferred settings for options such as output size, color slash black, paper selection, and collate. A preview of your selected file can be seen within the application, zooming options are also available. To change the color options, tap on the color slash black option, and select your desired color option. You can also change the paper selection based on the paper size of your preference. Once you have set all your preferred option settings, tap on the print button to commence print. All you need to do now is to collect your print job from the tray. Next, we will talk about scanning within the HP for SharePoint online app. Tap on the scan button to access the scanning options. By default, the file name would be named as scan, underscore date of scan, underscore time of scan. You can do a quick preview before starting the actual scanning. Zooming options are also available. Once you are happy with the preview and your scan settings, tap on the send button to commence the scanning process and the file will be created in your SharePoint site. Now you can preview or print your scan file that you have just completed. Setting options can be changed accordingly. You can customize the file name, choose the original size options, or even send a copy of the scanned file to your email, if the SMTP service is enabled on your device. Simply tap on the send button if you do not need to preview the scan. You can always rename the file within the application by accessing the setting options of the file. Tap on rename to change the file name. We will talk about other options within the HP for SharePoint online app. Apart from changing the file name, you can also delete files from your SharePoint site by tapping on the delete button in the additional file setting options. By doing so, the selected file will be deleted from the SharePoint site. You can also hide or unhide views of file attributes such as modified dates and file sizes of the files in the SharePoint site. Icon view options of the site can be toggled by tapping on the site view shortcuts. To easily search for your desired file, tap on the magnifying glass icon and input the file name you are looking for. You can then tap on the file found in the search results to access the file.
Lastly, you can tap on the additional site setting options and choose sign out to exit the application once you are done. Thank you for viewing HP WorkPath video.